Hey guys, Dave Beatty from the Nimitz Encounters here. I wanted to provide a quick video analysis of the alleged YouTube video called U.S. Military Leaked UFO FLIR Footage Afghanistan. My hypothesis is this shows a night air-to-air -air IR missile test using parachute retarded flares. The video segment's motion has been stabilized and the speed has been increased up to four times to show the motion of the flares. And uh, here you can see the flares of the round uh, objects seen in the FLIR black hot mode. They're uh, the four black dots on the screen. I added some grid lines here to show the motion of these objects as they come down. Now you can see stuff falling off the bottom. That's most likely some type of burning ash or chemical propellant that's used in these military flares. Um, so that's also very hot. It's dropping off as the thing burns. So you can see then they descend straight down almost. There's probably not a lot of wind. Now, uh, this segment is the air-to-air -air heat seeking missile hitting the flares and it probably has no warhead so there's no explosion. It actually hits two so they get two for one and this, it's probably still guiding so it sees the next one and goes after that. It's hitting the, the flares and again, um, the flares themselves are just burning chemical propellant, maybe, maybe made of paper, uh, something like that, some incendiary material. So even though the missile nailed it, it didn't explode, it just whacked it real good. It probably, you know, maybe even swung on the paracords underneath the parachute and continues to burn even though it got hit pretty good. In this video that I found on YouTube, uh, the Indian Air Force is testing a uh, infrared seeking missile from a Sukhoi jet at some type of demonstration but I wanted to show that this is what a retarded parachute flare looks like during the day. Obviously, it's much more visible. At night, you probably wouldn't see the parachute or the smoke trail um, behind it. Okay, so here comes the Sukhoi jet. Um, he's lining up the target with his uh, infrared missile, um, locking onto this heat source. Okay, he fires right there. It's tracking towards the flare and really quickly, hard to see, and nails it right there. Now, this thing is still burning. Um, you know, again, I don't know if they edited it, but it looked like the flare was still burning after he uh, hit it with the missile. Okay, here we're back to the Afghanistan footage once again. In this segment, uh, the flare operator seems to pan around looking for uh, the jet that fired this missile. Obviously, he heard it. I mean, an A-10 uh, mentioned in the video uh, on YouTube, obviously, would be making a lot of noise. Um, and so he's looking around. Where is it? Okay, so there he sees it. He spots the aircraft in the sky. He zooms in. And there we go. That looks like the profile of an A-10 Warhog that just fired the missile at most likely, which was a training target a flare suspended from a retarded parachute system uh, dropped possibly from a cargo plane. It's possible that the people on the ground at this base in Afghanistan, which I assume this is, I mean, they do show HESCO barriers. Uh, there's a couple shots of um, Humvees, some type of technical uh, vehicle with a machine gun mounted in the back. It does look like a, a fire base somewhere in the desert. Um, could be in America, you know, I, I, I assume this is in Afghanistan in some type of training um, evolution for the A-10 squadron that was out there and you know they're testing a missile uh, maybe getting some experience uh, it, you know A-10s don't normally fire air-to-air -air missiles it's not something that's um, their main role they're a ground attack close air support aircraft so firing air-to-air -air missiles at aerial targets is something that they don't do much and maybe they were out there this is a good opportunity to, to do some training and to fire some air-to-air -air missiles well you need a heat source that you can shoot at so a flare suspended from a uh, parachute would be a perfect opportunity they can lock the seeker onto that flare fire the missile and it will actually hit the the flare now like I said it could be that the missile didn't have a warhead that was, you know, disabled or taken off the missile, so it didn't explode. It just nailed it, and it continued on because the missile wasn't destroyed. It continued on and nailed the second uh, flare. So anyways, that's my hypothesis. Um, I don't think these are UFOs. I think it's just a 
you know, some type of routine training thing that looked really weird. It's possible the guys on the ground didn't know what those things were either. You know, they're not um, aviators. They may have not been briefed on this, and uh, it's possible they didn't know what those objects were. And, you know, they saw lights in the sky in the distance, and they got out their FLIR system, and they turned it on and started looking at these things saying, what is that? And if they're not familiar with retarded parachute flares, um, possibly they didn't know what they were. But I assume that, you know, this video was posted just because it looked weird and no one really knew what it was except the people that were there at the time. And that information has been removed from the scenario. So we don't know what was going on, but I think some people do know that were there. The pilots know, the uh, flare, you know, dispensers know, and possibly even the guy operating the FLIR camera knows what's going on. But um, it's easy to look at stuff and, and assume that this is some type of alien technology when in fact there's often, oftentimes a prosaic explanation. And that's mine. Here um, in the video, uh, the FLIR operator switches into video TV mode. So this is what it would have looked like with the naked eye, uh, nighttime, just seeing these glowing sort of uh, suspended objects way off in the distance, maybe even beyond those mountains. Um, I'm not sure the range here could have been five, ten miles away. Um, without any context, they look like they're hovering, but when you saw the grid lines that I showed earlier, you could see that they were um, coming straight down, basically. Um, you know, like burning flares on a parachute going straight down. To me, that's what that is.